You have to see this. There is a giant bubble on Mommy's pizza. A giant. It's like that thick. And it's like three quarters to half of the pizza. The little bookshelf has been getting too full of junk lately because, well, we have so many kids and they all need their school books. So, we have this larger bookshelf. We just moved it from upstairs and we are going to use this one now. And we just have to get the shelves and put we them in. We can use it for our new baby. Well, what, how would you use a bookshelf for your new baby? Okay, well, we'll probably do that, too. I think this shelf is going to be big enough to keep us busy for a while. I hope. And yeah, where's that little one going, Mommy? I don't know yet. I didn't get that far. Oh, yep. this is bad. Look at all that junk. It's just time. You know, I'm not happy about this being down here, but I think I'd rather have the shelf than the mess. So, you know, originally this was in our school room. Our computer room and office was the school room. But what I found was we weren't doing school well, and I couldn't... It worked okay if you only had two kids, but once we started getting three, and then four, the school room just... I couldn't do school and watch kids at the same time. So, we have moved to the official dining room table, and so I have a school bookshelf in my dining room. Oh, well. Do you know, do you, know what you look like wielding a fly swatter? A very angry pregnant woman. This bookshelf has a feature where you can tilt the shelves and do it this way, but it's not very efficient. No. So I think we're probably, I know you like it, it looks nice, but we're going to have to change it though. How's it going? Oh, it's going to take a little while to get it sorted and organized, and then even then, it'll probably, I'll have to redo it multiple times to figure out what works for the kids. Like... There's going to be some training for Lydia and Mary and Peter primarily on where the stuff goes. And I'm afraid that the kids will just shove their books in here. So I need to make sure it's all set up that it's very obvious when they don't do what they're supposed to do. I had a lot of resources that just weren't getting used because you couldn't see them or they were too buried to get to. So I'm hoping this will help with that. I'm hoping. We'll see. I think this is going to be a work in progress. I might have to get some containers and bins and things like that for markers, crayons, so we don't have the waterfall effect. I don't know. If they look over here, they can see the waterfall effect. Yeah, it's not good. You know, the, the bins were getting tipped over and then the stuff got shoved either underneath or around the back side of it. And it just was a real pain. It never looked organized. You probably noticed it in our videos. So I'm hoping... You know, I might have to spend a little money on getting some bins here, organizers or something, but hopefully that'll work. I want to be able to get the manipulative down for the little girls. You know, things that are going to be keeping them busy instead of being buried on the, up in the school room and on the third floor. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning and it's almost 11 o'clock already. I spent a lot of time on the vlog this morning and just tidying up some things I had not spent any time on that all weekend or yesterday and I said to Art I just need about an hour to get caught up on some things so hopefully you guys heard from me I try to respond to most of my comments although I know there are some comments that just I don't get around to but I do try to answer most of your guys questions and just let you know that I am here I am reading your comments but things get a little crazy around here after the Olympics the kids decided to make their own homemade volleyball nap so the boys are playing volleyball, Charity is the referee, and she's also reading, or maybe she's doing her schoolwork. And Grace over there is enjoying her cozy coop, just yeah. hanging out, playing around. This is one of those geranium plant babies that I started back in the spring and it took me forever to transplant, but I just threw it in this little pot here and it's flowering so nicely out here. I really enjoyed it this year. What do you think? Mommy, oh, you. a little one that's just a flea that's almost flowery. Yep, there's some more flowers coming, more buds here. They're coming. Grace is at that age where she's not ready to totally give up a morning nap, but if I put her to bed for her morning nap a little too late, she won't take an afternoon nap. And today was one of those days. She, we didn't, we didn't wake up. This is really unusual, but we didn't wake up until. Mommy. 
after 8 30 this morning so by the time we got up and got everybody up and ready to go and finish breakfast and I finished doing my vlog it was well after 10 o'clock and that's way too late to put little Grace to bed so Grace is just hanging out with us today Lydia wants to show you how she ties her chives It's really easy. And then what do you do with them after they're tied? Make them into lo pretend they're lollipop sticks. Oh, lollipop sticks. <laughs> having a hard time. There we go. Don't drop it. There you go. Tie it. Oh, it came off again. At my kids' behest, I think that's the right word. They are saying they are starving. So we're just gonna make some popcorn, just something they can stack on outside. You got one. And hopefully that'll tie them through for another hour. It's not like it's that long, lunch is that far away. No, no peanut butter popcorn. Yes, I love peanut butter That's popcorn. It's not happening, girly. So I made two bowls of popcorn because the little girls wanted some, but then I knew the hungry big kids playing volleyball would want some. We saw her falcon. Did you see it? Really? No, a little higher than that. It just Is it a falcon? It was a white bird. Oh. Huh. Very deep wings. White wings. Uh -huh. it, was white. it couldn't be an owl. Owls are nocturnal. No, not yet. Eat your popcorn, okay? Okay. So the hungry munchkins are getting their own bowl of popcorn. Here you go. Thank you. Charity, would you? Oh, you can have any on your brace as well. You probably could suck on a piece. No. Hey, Pete, where would you like me to put the popcorn? Mm. On top of the books. On top of the books. Okay. We put a towel down. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. There you guys go. Popcorn is another food that you can save a ton of money by buying in bulk. I know I've been doing a lot of bulk videos lately. Popcorn was one of those things I didn't mention in those videos, but usually you buy it in anywhere from 30 to 50 pound bags and it's far, far cheaper. I think Art took a little bit of footage yesterday of what I was doing in the dining room and in the rest of the house, but I'll show you how far I got and it's still not done and I'm not gonna be able to work on it now until little girls take their naps. This is leftover mess that needs to be sorted and dealt with. A lot of it's just little pieces of crabs and things like that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet, but the shelf I put in is right here. And this actually belonged to a school district Art had picked up at an auction and I said I love this shelf so it really works well. I don't really have it sorted. I was thinking of getting some 31 organizers for here, kind of like what I did upstairs and sort some of this, but I'm not sure yet. I need to find a place for my teacher manuals somewhere on the shelf. These are a few books that don't actually go on the shelf yet because the kids aren't there yet. Oh, and there's your sticker book, Mary. We can work on that. And you can see I have a lot of extra shelf space here. This shelf was actually in our office slash school room upstairs. This was chock full. So I still have all those items that I have displaced from upstairs to decide if I want them down here or not. I really don't know yet. But, you know, it's something I need to do today. But I really need to, because Grace isn't napping, I need to keep an eye on her. So... That's not going to happen. And I hate living in this perpetual mess like this, particularly since I'm in like this total cleaning mood, but I really need to keep an eye on the kids. We found something because we want to show Daddy. We're not telling him what it was, is, but we're just leaving it for supplies. Well, let's see what it is. I have no idea. Let's go. Here comes Daddy. Oh. The bees dug up. Oh, they probably skunk dug it up. Because that was a bee's nest that I zapped. Yep. Yeah, so I zapped the bee's nest and... Skunk must have There's eaten it. There's a bee down there. Live or dead? Live. Really? Oh, it is. Peter's trying to get one of the combs out of there. I don't think it's easy 
to get one out. Yeah, let's see. Do a little bit of a comb. Cool. Yeah, I think I'd be careful about touching stuff. There are live bees in there. You should not go in there. I'm not going to stick my hand down there. We're on our way to the post office and I didn't film any more after lunchtime because I managed to get not one, not two, but three girls down for an afternoon nap, which is like unheard of in my house. And so I was doing things that I couldn't necessarily do with little girls around and I just was hustling, hustling, hustling and I didn't film. So that's how it went. And the three older kids went with our neighbor and did some, just picked up some sticks for him in the forest. Well, forest, the woods behind us. <laughs> the kids call it the forest. But we're on our way to the post office right now. We have three things to send out. We have a few more errands we're gonna run. And then I'm on call tonight. And Art's got the kids. And it's just, it's a Tuesday routine, right Art? We'll see what happens. Yep. You never know. Yeah. You never know when Daddy watches the kids on a Tuesday night what will happen. I always say, you never know what will happen, but you know something will happen. Yep. Hopefully there's nothing bad. Hopefully they'll just go and maybe go to the playground or... It's usually not that bad, but it's no. always something. It's always something. And since the girls took such a good nap today, maybe Daddy can reward them by taking them somewhere. We're going to CVS and we're going to buy some things that might surprise you. CVS was out of what we were looking for, so we're going to Target. This probably surprises a lot of you. But what we are buying is something to hopefully help organize and make our kids appreciate what we have a little bit more. So what we're getting are things to organize our school a little bit more. And all of the crayons, all of the miscellaneous broken pieces of everything here, there, and everywhere are going to disappear at our home. And the kids are going to have each of their own boxes with their names on them. And they will be responsible for those items only. And if they break, yeah, they have to wait till next year. <laughs> That's just, and we want to teach our kids to be responsible for their things. And so we're getting crayons for Mary. Sometimes you save money by buying something that the kids are going to take care of instead of buying it three times a bad quality. And so it just, it works out in the end to really spend up a little bit to save money in the long run. Sometimes you have to spend a little bit of money to help with organization and that's kind of what you've seen this last week is I've been spending money but hopefully it's to help with getting our house better under control. I find the Up and Up brand logo very interesting because watch this, you take it, you turn it around, John's going to love this, what does it say? DN and DN or down and down. What we're looking for are individual containers for the kids. So we need six of them. Even though Grace probably won't use hers that much, we want to get six of the same right now. And we're going we're to label them. Now we had two different options. We can do the individual boxes that stack nicely, or we can do this that they snap all together. But here's what I'm thinking. If we go, okay, say the kids find one pencil that belongs to Lydia. And say Lydia's is here. Do you know what that means? <laughs> unsnap, unsnap and you have to unsnap everything, which makes a greater risk of losing the contents of that drawer and that drawer. And Realistically, what me means is that the pencil ends up on top. Right, the kids are not gonna wanna Or on that. the floor. But here, they could just grab the one they wanted and pull it out. So that's what I'm thinking. I think that's what Danny wants, six, right? Right. There we go. For the new baby? For the new baby, no, the new baby you won't be using for a while. Right. I feel like we're doing a lot of shocking things that are very untraditional. So we're buying candy, but it's bribery candy. <laughs> it's because the kids work so well with a focus for a piece of candy. Even if it's just a, Even a, if it's a cheap, tiny, tiny little cheap. piece of candy. So we're going to um, actually buy candy. Which is shocking. Bribery. Have we ever done that before? No. I think Tootsie Rolls are think good. Tootsie Rolls for one, but you gotta have a couple different layers here. Yes, so the, have... the good ones and the bad ones. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Oh, they're, oh, they're kind of expensive. Oh, we get here. I have to do my room. What? I have to do my room. <laughs> well, she's telling me she did her room. So, you know what that means? It means you want some candy. A note to our viewers. This only works if you have candy very, very rarely. Yes. If you have candy all the time, forget it. Doesn't it doesn't work.